Procreate Dreams 2 has arrived. And yep, there's finally Lasso. Opening the update, first thing is going to happen is the brush upgrade, and we are greeted with a menu briefing us on what has changed and the things that we can now implement in our work. We select our canvas. And the first thing I'll do here is change the canvas color. And the color drop now operates far more smoothly with better accuracy. Coming back to the interface, let's work counterclockwise for the features. Something new is the slider, which we can trim our work time to. And down at the bottom, we have three modes for our animating. Compose, Perform, which will be on with the recording dot here, and Keyframe, which will activate our options when material is present. The way we navigate the app has completely rearranged, with all the core aspects nested under the plus icon organized as separate compartments. Instead of having to go out into the theater to change settings and specifications, it is all housed here. Under Project is where we can address the framework of the entire piece. Under Stage, we sort out backgrounds. And one major change is that we can now export in transparency, whose inability to do so was a huge drawback in Dreams 1. We can get rid of the timecode if we want. And most importantly, onion skin adjustment. Here's how things act on the timeline. And these are all the ways in which we can export, which becomes available with work set up in the timeline. Lastly, we have our preferences with a few key demands, one being the keyboard shortcuts that you can customize and quicker access to toggle main gestures. And the group select tool is its own button now, signified by a loop, and will be bright when activated. Let's start off by activating a drawing compartment. Let's have a look now at the top panel, starting with the right, to see that we now have the Procreate 5.4 style with multiple libraries. In addition, we are greeted with a new library under which we have 17 new sets of brushes, each with 10 brushes within them. We have our drawing layers, color drop, and a small menu for drawing layer options. So let's clip, in my opinion, since Kyle Webster has been with Procreate, the options for brushes have really elevated the app and have interesting distinctions that inspire a lot of play. Moving on, we have a limited version of what we're used to in Procreate. We can add media, manage properties pertaining to the canvas, and most importantly, we have a shortcut to our onion skins so we can work within the drawing or flipbook stage without having to exit to adjust our guide layers. In regards to our brushes, which were previously static, we can now adjust stabilization and pressure curves. Moving on to adjustments, since I'm within the drawing, I cannot directly keyframe these settings from here. That's the one big change from Dreams 1 to 2, there's no more direct draw canvas activity from the timeline. Every aspect is compartmentalized. So in order to keyframe these aspects, we need to exit the drawing space and make the stage into keyframe mode, where these options are going to appear elsewhere. And under select, we now have lasso, which works hand in hand with the transform which is finally here in a better iteration. The paint draw experience has also improved. And now let's get out to the compose timeline. Since it is Procreate, many things are gesture based. So to find snapping, you need to be in perform or keyframe mode only. And with one finger, you move your canvas and the other, place it off to the side and the guides will appear. Now in keyframe mode, we tap on the clapboard icon and we're going to get a bunch of options for how to move and manipulate this singular drawing or frame.
And since I hate my perform mode leaf, this is the time I can bring up flipbook mode and do the animation frame by frame for more precise control. And now up top, we have our menu again within the flipbook, meaning we can now apply any and all of the aforementioned directly to our flipbook pages or frame by frame. And on the timeline, we can adjust the frames as a unit through groups and also deconstruct the flipbook to act as drawing layers that we can individually edit and conversely create flipbooks from the frames in timeline. You can stack multiple tracks within one flipbook and one major hidden feature is how you can adjust your frames by long holding over the check mark Adding frames is easy, and we can use the select to gather multiple frames at once. And the awesome new time handles. Are you going with me or what? Adding text, we see some revitalization of the interface. And you can add blank tracks to help you with your hierarchy of layers. And the rest is your own creative exploration. It has been two years since Procreate Dreams first launched, and the work they've done to build the app back from a place many felt was unusable is evident. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.